Welcome back to my channel Computer Science for All. So today's video is going to be about Google Classroom. How Google Classroom can be useful for all the teachers to collect the student assignments, homework and other assessments through the Google Classroom. So in this video I'll be covering how to use Google Classroom from your mobile phone. Let's get started. So here you can see you have to download the app Google Classroom in your phone right so as uh, it is already installed in my phone so that is why it is now showing the option to open so I will open this app in both my phones so now let us understand how to create a classroom and how to join the classroom for both the things you have to go to the plus icon which is here so is phone se main create karti hu classroom aur yahan pe i'll put create classroom and continue and you will write down the name of the class like 10th a room is not mandatory but let's write the room also and computer and let's put it now and click on the create button so now it is creating the class right now we have a class create with us as a he up up my screen page of it right you will go to your screen So now you see you can add people from here so you can see add students right add students and give them the class code q i s h t p r so let's try joining this class from here this is the teacher classroom right and let us join this class from here let's join the class the class code is q i s h t p r right so q i s h t p r and then and the form join so here we are you can see now the classroom are visible in both right so when you go to people here you can see that your teacher is rishu call and here you will find the students now added see that computer science for all has joined this classroom right so this is how you can create and join classroom now if i you want to add some homework then you will go to the assignment here and you will click on the assignment or the question yahan pe aap apna assignment likh sakte ho right like you have to submit submit question आंसर राइट वॉट एवर आप चैप्टर का नाम लिख सकते हो डिस्क्रिप्शन में राइट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव द ड्यू डेट यू कैन गिव द ड्यू डेट ऑल्सो लाइक द ड्यू डेट इज थर्टी वन सो दैट द स्टूडेंट्स नो दैट दे हैव टू सबमिट बिफोर दैट पर्टिकुलर डेट एंड दे विल ऑल्सो गेट अ रिमाइंडर बिफोर दैट डेट दैट इज द बेस्ट थिंग एंड and then you can attach the attach you if you want to attach a file or you want to attach a drive link or something you can do it from here or even if you want to take the photo of the assignment you can take the photo of the assignment and submit like let me take the photo of anything like i have taken this photo right and i'll put a tick mark
so you can see the photo is added as the assignment in my google classroom and then i will click on this button assign right so as soon as i assign now i go to the child's classroom and i go to the classroom the classroom that has been assigned will be visible very soon It will take a little time to be reflect. So now you can see that it is there. Submit question answer. Right. So here you the student can submit the work like this. He will. add the attachment and then he will create that file or scan the file of homework and then submit here like here if i again take a photo has been file has been attached right and then you click on hand in or turn in like you have submitted the particular assignment right so there is even option for unsubmit for the students till the due date is there after the due due date they cannot unsubmit right So now you can see there is one student in your class, and he has turned in. There will be a number. How many students have submitted the assignment, and how many has not submitted? So यहाँ पे वो number आता रहेगा कि एक बच्चे ने submit कर दिया. So you can see here. You will go to turned in, and then you can see what the student has done. Right? So when you are using from home, even you can put a comment, right? Like you can see the pen button is there. You want to put a tick mark. You want to check the paper. You can check from your mobile phone, and then then you click on the save button. There is a save button, and then you can return the assignment to the child. That yes. You have checked, and you want to grade the student. For example, I am giving hundred out of hundred, and then return. And click on the return button. So it has been returned to the child. So now you see in this child's classroom, the child has got the message edited, submit question answer, right? So. he can see what corrections you have done like he can see the photo and the corrections as well so this is the best thing that how you can check the child homework in your phones very easily and find out uh, which child has done the homework and which child has not done the homework that is the best way to take the assignments and all the written work so i hope teachers this video will be helpful to you and will help you to uh, maintain your records in a easy way by using the google classroom thank you so much